N and M. Another version of us. What are we really? Why do we exist in the first place? The answers are within me, together with her hopes and dreams. I will give them a voice. I will make him hear our truth. Three hundred days remain to the intersection. It seems we might make it. Yes. It took every bit of our combined intellects, but we built it. To prepare for the time our two worlds collide. All that we are is contained within. Memories and our souls. We will all be gone, and then reborn. Will it be a new beginning? Or our demise. No one can tell us that. Time will run its due course and show us the true meaning of our deed. In the distant past, what was once a single world was cleft in twain. Plus and minus, on the surface, they were identical. These two worlds of opposing nature knew nothing of each other as they wended their way towards their own respective futures. However, the worlds yearned for each other against the solitude of existence. They strove to reunite. Though it would spell certain destruction, should the two worlds intersect, they would cancel each other out and cease to be, leaving only light. Light, a shining beacon in the darkness, the last common language left to us. Though we inhabited separate worlds, the medium of light allowed us to communicate for the very first time. And so we sought for a way to prevent total oblivion. We pooled our knowledge and through time gave birth to a single point of hope. Origin. An arc containing all the world's data recorded in words of light, carrying hope into the future. Origin was a system we constructed to reboot the world's states. And then, time was upon us. The reboot process failed to initiate. Instead, in that instant, the worlds became still, by the will of Mobius. So it's their fault. And at the heart of it, was their ringleader, Zed. You could say Zed embodies this frozen world. But what does that achieve? Freezing everything. Not a thing. He didn't need to do anything after that. Only to keep everything in its place in stasis and create an eternity to abide within. As was their wish. He made our lives their sustenance. Precisely so. In order to gain control of Origin, Zed captured the Kavesi Queen. To what end? To access the memories in Origin. To bend them to his will. 
He needed a key held only by its creators. A key? A heart might be more fitting. Zed used the key held by the Queen of Kevis and seized Origin in its entirety. Controlling Origin means controlling the world. And having shackled it, he can bend it to his will. Life and death are his playthings. Life and... death. No one, not even M, knew the origins of this world. So I guess you have another key. Yes, it's in my possession. With its help, I was able to create... the Ouroboros Stones. Though most of the power is with Zed, I have been able to resist him to a small extent. It's a cogwheel? One of the gears from Origin. Through a process of catalysis between the Origin substrate and the core in my chest, I can generate the stones. And thanks to that, we became Ouroboros. Yes, but not completely. Huh? Remember, have you not succumbed to Mobius's power before? <sighs> As I've said before, Zed commands the world's very fabric. Unfortunately, my own powers are sorely limited. And yet, you two can break Zed's fetters, as you've shown, smashing through the rules he established. With your Ouroboros powers and the Sword of the End, both. The Sword of the End? The sword you hold. It is a byproduct of resonance between the Kavesi Queen's heart and origin. Does that mean... It's like an Ouroboros stone. The Ouroboros stones and the sword, they're mere gimmicks. The crux of them lies with you. You see, there are keys inside of you, too. Inside of us? Keys? Finally, my efforts were rewarded. I'm glad to meet with all of you who embody hope. Majesty. What is it that we must do? Right. Infiltrate Origin, then free it and the Kavesi Queen from Zed. From the hands of Mobius once and for all. If we do free it, will we get to change the world? It's so cruel and senseless. Can we undo that? <sighs> Your Majesty... If you desire to have a future before you... I need to know. Zed and Mobius, must they be our enemy? Noah. Now that is something for you to decide. After confronting them and discerning for yourselves what they truly are. All right. Come this way. We've made some new friends. Hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. In the last episode, what can you say? Yeah. We arrived here at the Cloud Keep, took on Mobius D and J. Those two are seemingly no more. The only thing I can say is, it's fitting for the character. D, you went too far. You fool. <laughs> but man, the feels are exemplary on this one. Yeah. 
so much emotion and man now we get context on not only the intro to the game Let's itself just take a peek. Is this like a rare thing? but finally we get a pretty much combination on how this world came to be mm -hmm. and as it stands right now and man I just love it so much all the song easter eggs uh -huh. and just on, just yeah. hearing um, Nia's voice actor again in proper Might format well, yeah. Well. yeah and seeing Melia control. for the first time too uh -huh. oh boy well now my mission is even more important. I've got a melee to save. Yeah. <laughs> Behold. There are the nadir of the vortex, sleep's origin. In the sea? Deep beneath the sea where none may tread, Zed spins his world-spanning web. So you're saying the Queen of Kevis She's there as well? Well, snuff me. I want to save the Queen as much as the next guy. But how are we supposed to even get there? You can't even get near without being ripped apart. Yeah, but if anyone were to know the trick, it's Queen Nia. Seeing as, you know, she's the mastermind behind the whole origin shebang, yeah? Right. Actually, I kind of don't. Oh, but... but you're the Queen! How do you not know that? This is shocking. Absolute nonsense. I simply cannot believe this. I... I don't know how to respond. Come on, you lot. Rein it in now. Huh? Hang on. Hmm? Mio, don't you... Get to use those Mobius powers. Uh, um, well... Then it should be a snap, right? Pew! We're there! Those clowns were doing it all the time! Actually... Go on. I can't use them right now. The Mobius powers. What? I noticed it right after we liberated the castle. I couldn't work out why myself it was so sudden. No! Is this why you blew us off saying to ask the Queen ourselves? Oh, sorry, Uni. Oh, love. I suspect it must be Zed. Huh? The power of Mobius. It's part of the flow and fabric of the world. What is permitted, and what is prohibited, is subject to Zed's whims. Even with Origin. Not every Mobius knows of his existence. But I was able to use the Ouroboros powers. The power you currently wield is, let's say, external to the flow. Even Zed himself cannot grasp what's beyond his reach. Therein is my hope based. <sighs> we're still stuck, though. We know where to go, but we're kind of dead in the water here. How to tackle the Vortex, then? <gasps> Mr. Salmon. Mr. Salmon was, uh, that Nopon from the city. Yeah. Recall what he said about a ship that could brave the Great Sea. Ultimate vessel. That right. Even Vortex in Raging Great Sea not slow advance. It'd go down in history as Queen of Boats. Still work in progress. But sure to bring to fruition someday. It's someone's dream. Yeah, he did say that. Something about it being able to take on stormy weather. Wait, wasn't that a work in progress, though? I think he might have been drawing up blueprints. Whatever Mr. Salmon said, he was pretty ardent about it. Which must mean there might be a way to get there after all. All right, let's go. Yeah. Finally, our lucky break. Looks like this place was worth the trip. Better hurry. I hardly imagine Mobius will stand idly by. 
Agreed. Your Majesty! Huh? Thanks a lot. Things are looking up. Uh, sure. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, I think I understand. If you're looking for someone, he'll be in maintenance, same as usual. I'll send someone to get you. Just head on over. Many thanks. We'll be outside the Cloud Keep. Well, at least we get context on that vortex now. Yeah, definitely so. And I like how it all links back to a Nuffon. And also, I just love how we all piss off and run and not say goodbye to Nia. <laughs> not even question of like, so, the Cloud Keep. Is it, like, going to be here? Or are you going to be safe, you know, seeing how you nearly got stabbed right through the chest? You know. I also like how they didn't notice how similar Mio and Nia is. Uh, no, any relation? No, nothing similar. It's kind of weird. But, uh, man. It's true to her character. At least I'll say that much. Mm -hmm. Now I'm starting to wonder where she actually is. Back to the city for a bit then. Yeah. Travis arranged to have us picked up at the entrance. I was kind of, <laughs> I was kind of hoping that we'd see her. Is she not on the map? Uh, let's have a look. See, nope. There's no green dots to say she's gone. Nope, she's just disappeared. But man, one of the things that I wish we got context on is, and um, I think I can give rough spoilers for this. Um. I want to ask, where the hell is Dromark? Mm -hmm. Seeing how he was a blade linked to Nia. But, I don't know, man. Maybe it's a case of, oh, you know, when the world resets, so did Dromark. But, hey ho. I mean, man, I still love this place. Yeah. The Easter eggs, the music, poor but man, it's bloody brilliant. Plus, we also get to explore uh, a bigger area. So much so, I'm gonna be a cheeky so and so, and I'm gonna take more of a near stuff. And so, they built an arc. I was wondering when an arc would come into play in this game. I mean, you're gonna love it! Because we got Noah, so there has to be an arc somewhere. Oh my god. <laughs> and who's to say Monolith does not pull religious architects? <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, how would you look at this? We've seen things like this in Xenoblade's history. And also, can I say, uh, uh, the cogwheel that Nia had. Didn't it look like a uh, and something? I didn't get a good look at it. <laughs> it was a triangle with three things on the edges. Ah. Hum de la hum. That, <laughs> and that brings up another question in my eyes. Where are those guys? Mm. Or is it just another case of, hey ho, world reset, they're the only ones there. But it just seems a little bit weird to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, but man, I just... I'm just so glad that once again, Monolith toyed with our expectations and then in the immediate cut to him, like, nah, come on, you thought we would kill Nia? Nah. <gasps> and with the way Nia responded, it was almost like in a jovial tone. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, you bastard. <laughs> <sighs> Not the fact I thought I'd been killed, but ju it's just the fact that... Oh god. These entrance stairs are super long. Hey, that gives me an idea. You wanna do some sprints after? Maybe. Nia, I hope you'll be okay up there. Yeah, because I'm just going to say, I'm not, I mean, not to criticize your tastes in architecture, but this isn't very conspicuous. It's very out in the open. I just really hope you'll be okay. Unless, you know, 
She joins our city. She is a secret hero. Oh, I'd love that. So, Cloud Keep, what's that about? Yeah. <laughs> Anyone of interest there or whatnot? Nah. We're just gonna ride, enjoy the sunset, and be on our merry way. Oh, the dude. I'm pumped up. I want to save my Melia. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe if you go in the pause menu, maybe it'll show Nia as a guest. I don't know. Just have to see. I mean, with where the cutscene left off, I don't think it is. I, I just think she's just chilling. Mm. Sorry, I know I've been I've been asleep for thousands of years, but I need a cat now. <laughs> Unless she's on the ship with us, which I highly doubt. So, this is the world I have now. What the hell? <laughs> or be like an awkward conversation. So, um, how's Rex doing? Oh, <laughs> right. <sighs> also, what's that nope on? His hairstyle reminds me of a certain someone. An idiot almost. I'm just glad the people in the city made it through unscathed. Me too. It's a huge weight off my mind. Damn right. Boy, you would not believe the things that we've seen. Also, I like how we're here, but yet we forgot Gamaravi. Yeah, we left him behind. <laughs> He's still on the mountainside, don't worry. Friends mean old Butte. She tucked away, all cosy in dock number three. What, really? Curious? We are. All righty. Then please follow Sam on to port. I like how the blur effect makes him look extra floofy. <laughs> uh, that, that honestly is probably a reason why. It honestly wouldn't shock me if they have the blur filter just on the tips of their bodies. <laughs> but I, I, I'm kind of also glad that hopefully in the context that cuts in we, and we just saw that Salmon is just like, oh yeah, friends, I finished the boat. Off screen, it's there. Like what? Yeah. Salmon just did it while you guys weren't looking. Is that that or I'm expecting? Ah, Salmon needs parts for boat. <laughs> Go get parts. I mean, I would like to hope that that cutscene somehow implies that we're not going to have to do it. Because that would be a good way for Mon to say, Hey, you know, we could do that, but we're going to make it more efficient for you guys. Yeah, it kind of bothers me how they didn't ask Nia about her her well-being coming going forward. Yeah, it's like Mobius knows where she is now, and she's just she's not safe. She's her worried. Her house is now on show. It's yeah. on Google Maps. <laughs> but to be fair, we've kicked Mobius's ass more than once, and I know Nia's has been asleep, but she can probably still handle herself. Oh, but dude, it just feels so good. Mm hmm I get to go to at the boat. Ah, oh, but Man, I've got so many questions and all of them good. I kind of am interested in seeing how Melly and Nia met. That would be an interesting conversation. I mean, it's like... Forget Melly and Nia. I want to see how both worlds interacted. Yeah. Because, like... Because I just... Just a bunch of heroes just meeting at some point going, Hey, how's it going? Maybe it's got something to do with the Fog King. We never know. Maybe. Just 
I just love how we're slowly finding out more answers as time goes on. Yeah. But dude, we've said this a bunch of times. I want to see a prequel to all this. Just like an interaction with everyone coming together. Mm -hmm. And let's face it, it's nothing out of the realms of possibility. Because look what Monolith did for DLC. Forget Torna. Look what they did for DLC for 2 in general. And what was the one of the first things for DLC they dropped? They dropped Shulk and Fiora in Xenoblade 2. Yeah. Basically fan service. What's to say they're not going to do that again? But on a massive, massive extent. It's like combining that and Torna all in one. But I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Shulk and Fjord's thing and all rest, unfortunately, it's not canon. But we'll have to see how they retroactively adjust that. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Boat. <laughs> Thanks, Boat. You couldn't just have me fast travel to a dockside. So where's the place Mr. Salmon told us about? First we go into the control room, apparently. I'm going to love it if this boat magically just becomes the boat we're looking for. Also, we're asking a knock on for a boat. This isn't a good sign. I mean, to be fair, we said that about it the first time. You know what? Look, nothing bad's happened. It can't strike twice. So, about this dot three. Ship is combination of life and ambition, and so if, so if anything happened, Sam and die of heart fracture. That's why she hints sneaky like. Oh, oh, Salmon. I'm so sorry. <laughs> is that where you're keeping it? Talk to free right this way, please. So I'm gonna take you. I did a nice dance and opened the door. That's a magic dance. <laughs> so this is it. The ship that can conquer the Great Sea's Vortex. So sweet! And you got it all <laughs> ready, too! It's like a different beast from what we've been using. <laughs> I'd venture to call it a masterwork. <laughs> There's a real sense of power behind this craft. Please not to get garments in twist. This is just hull. Just, just the, the hull. hull. Key element of engine not quite ready yet. Ship without engine is like a light torpedo wrap without filling of tasty sausage. That crime against cuisine! Torpedo wrap without tasty sausage like ship without engine! Mr. Salmon, what is it the engine needs? To be precise, just need core component. Is this part here, and still need six more to make. Unfortunately, only have this one here. I've seen that metal before. It's the same as Noah's sword, right? Yeah. Looks like it. Also, it's same as metal that go inside fancy eye patches of lost numbers. Friends know eye patches block Mobius tracking, surely? Yeah, we heard that from Monica. That because eye patch emits special wavelengths. This here shows sources of such waves. Points of light on map indicate where metal can be located. But Salmon could not visit. Every place is fearsome scary. Can't you just use the metal from the eye patches? Those important equipment for lost numbers, so no can do. And even if could, metal is stretched into thin foil, making total amount not sufficient. That's a shame. Mia, look over here. Yeah. The Cloud Keep. It's that thing that the Queen had. Mr. Salmon, so if we got you six more, you could complete the ship? Naturally. With that can make ship with power and defense that weather any storm or hole in sea. How long would it take to build? 
We'll give it three days, tops. Wow, that's real snappy. Good, as time is of the essence. All right, let's crack on. Yeah. Mr. Salmon, don't you worry. We'll get you your parts. Man. Wait! Hold ponios! Salmon thinks Salmon deserves some kind of explanation! Ah, oh, right. Here's the thing. Fade out in traditional Xenoblade fashion? Now, Salmon, get it. So, friends, want to you ship? Well then, that only mean one thing. To make friends search for core parts, easy Sam must update data from previously. How's that? Data derived from obscure source could, could only show broad strokes position, but now Simon will make data more precise. Currently, can only constrain to area of a 2,000 square metry. But with a bit more elbow grease, she'll be able to increase accuracy to within 200 metry. That's good, right? This will be a walk in the park then. Indeedly do. This might take us less time than I'd anticipated. Right. Mr. Salmon, sir, you're sort of our hero right now. So, friends, can we have any ideas? Definitely. We know who has the part in any letter region. We should go there now. Splendid! Then while friend... Itinerate? Itinerate. Itinerate, sorry. Sam will analyze remaining locations. We'll send details when ready. Oh, friends excited. Thank you, Mr. Salmon. Alright then, let's get going. Yeah. First stop, the Cloud Keep. Again. <laughs> I just hope Salmon doesn't end up like Uman. Hopefully not. I wouldn't say that's a standard quest, mind. <laughs> I'd, here, I'd say that Let's to be the oh my god, you need to do this right now. Like clear, like this could have been like a main story quest. Mm -hmm. Or can they not make the difference between big time quest and medium quest? Who's to say? Well, guys, I think on that note, we got a lot of story done. And man, can I say it was, <clears throat> to quote Land, so sweet! <laughs> <laughs> Big ups to the voice actor for, for delivering that line. That was fantastic. And it even echoed to match <laughs> the location we're in right now. Hey, man, I'm a man of effects. What can I say? <laughs> but, man. So... We have our objective, both long-term and short-term, and man, it just keeps going. Yeah. <laughs> it just keeps building and building and building, and man, I cannot wait. And guess what now? It's building towards building a boat. It works. Trust me, it does. So, guys, with that said, we are going to go off back to Nia. Oddly enough that she did not say that we needed this, but hey-ho. But until then... Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, then please be sure to like it. And of course, if you want to follow us on this Xenoblade Chronicles 3 journey, then please subscribe to see more. And we'll see you guys next time in which we hunt for metal, we hunt for spark plugs, and we continue on to Origin. See you guys then.